everyone. Um, so Parkinson's disease affects 10 million people worldwide. The disease causes involuntary movement or shaking that makes, it, that makes life significantly difficult for Parkinson's patients. So now the biggest problem with current Parkinson's disease diagnostics is that they're purely qualitative in the way that a physician has to sit down with a Parkinson's patient in order to visually recognize the severity of motor symptoms and use that to prescribe medications. However, this makes it subject to extensive human error and is also very infrequent. Since a Parkinson's patient will have at most one or two monitoring appointments in an entire month, the physician is unable to get an accurate representation of how their patient's motor symptoms are behaving when they're at home. And that's why my research One Ring provides a solution to this issue by creating an intelligent wearable ring that captures movement data throughout an entire day in a passive manner analyzes this data using signal processing and machine learning, and then is able to diagnose the severity of motor symptoms at each and every hour of the day and output coherent daily patient reports that a physician can easily read to better prescribe medications. So what is, how does the system work? It comprises of two major components, the wearable ring and the iOS system so that a patient can conduct diagnostics. They're connected together using Bluetooth. Now, a patient will have to wake up in the morning, put the ring on their finger, press start day on the system, and this allows my algorithm to passively collect movement data so that the patient can go about the regular day and not have to worry about a diagnostic tool on their finger conducting analysis. So then when they're ready to sleep, they can simply take off the ring, press end day, and this allows my machine learning model to do its analysis in which it reads this raw acceleration data and is able to predict the severity of motor symptoms such as bradykinesias dyskinesias, and tremor at each and every hour of the day using random force classifications. So this outputs a daily patient report that highlights the date stamp, time stamps, and hourly movement severities whenever the patient was wearing their ring. So basically from this, this overall system provides a whole new platform for the physician and Parkinson's patient to interact with each other in order to bring down the severity of the disease. Now, in order to conduct this research, it was split up into four different sections. The first was feature extraction from a training data set. Then was random force ensemble training where I trained the machine learning model. Then I created the wearable ring. Um, and lastly, brought these two components, the hardware and software together to build this coherent device for Parkinson's. So the training data was sponsored by the Michael J. Fox Foundation and included Parkinson's patients of varying disease severities and control patients. This allowed me to kind of see the trends that are occurring between severities of the disease. And then from that, do feature extraction, um, in which I extracted five features that best represent Parkinson's motor symptoms. This allowed me to put it into a random forest training model in which I trained a machine learning algorithm that could predict the severity of motor symptoms at each and every hour of the day. So in order to, after the algorithms were created, I also had to basically create this ring. And that was done through 3D printing and designing a low energy Bluetooth accelerometer chip that could constantly capture movement data. These are the various prototypes throughout my research that I designed. And lastly, in order to bring this hardware component and software component, I created a system that was around Bluetooth and HTTP post requests, in which the data from the rings could be sent to my smartphone, and then the smartphone would send all that data to the server, where the analysis would be done, reports would be created, sent to the physician and the patient on the smartphone, so that they can constantly see how their uh, disease is progressing. So results were done through clinical validation at the Parkinson's Institute and Clinical Center where rings were actually put on Parkinson's patients and also cross-validation was done on the machine learning data set. So overall, it, after the validation was done, one ring was launched on Kickstarter. Um, it was successfully funded in less than a week. Um, and basically, this allowed me to bring rings to Parkinson's patients all across the world. Um, those patients are now actively able to use this device to constantly monitor their disease and bring down its progression. Additionally, the rings were deployed to the Parkinson's Institute, um, where now patients and physicians are using those rings on a day-to-day -day basis in order to kind of see how the disease is progressing and use that to better prescribe medications. And most importantly, the impact on Parkinson's patients is that this ring brings the doctors to the fingertips of a Parkinson's patient. All the analysis capabilities that a doctor would do is now always walking and going around wherever the Parkinson's patient goes. It's constantly capturing data, creating those reports, and giving it to the physician so they, they can better see how the disease is affecting the patient. 
future of work involves working with pharmaceutical companies like Duopa to basically allow them to test their own medications and also with the Davis Finney Foundation so that we can bring rings to Parkinson's patients all across the world. That's one ring. Um, that's my email. Please feel free to contact me. Thank you. Okay. You don't, get, you don't get to that off, off okay. that lightly. Have you got one in your pocket? <laughs> oh, no, I don't. I didn't bring oh, one today. Oh. <laughs> I forgot. <laughs> <laughs> Will you be here tomorrow? Um, I might be, yeah. Okay, I'm, so I you might should be come back tomorrow and let us have a look at that. All um, right, awesome. I, how, how many people would like to see the ring? <laughs> yeah, see, look, look. You know, there's lots of people. You should bring it along. N lesson for next time. But, um, okay, so that's really interesting. And uh, one other question. Did you have to get um, permission from Russell uh, Jackson to use the term one ring? Or the Lord of the Rings franchise. Oh, oh, okay. Um, no, I, I just really love Lord of the Rings movies, so just that that became the name. <laughs> <laughs> Excellent. I'm sure they won't sue you. <laughs> Please join me in thanking this young man for his fantastic research. Well done. Thank you.